So over here in the UK, if you work on a building site, um, you don't have your normal 230 volt supply available to you. So you can't plug your um, 230 volt appliances. Um, they have a safety voltage, which is uh, 110 volts, um, center tap to earth. And uh, you have special plugs, of course, that go in there like this. Um, so what do you do if you have a DeVolt charger for your cordless drill and you have a flat battery? And this has happened to me before. I was on a building site and I, you, you can't plug that in there. Um, and there's no... Uh, 230 volt available to plug this in anywhere. Um, in the past, I've gone into the site office and and asked them to to charge my batteries for me there. But more often than you just don't have the option, and you either have to buy a 110 volt version of these uh, chargers to charge your batteries. Um, and I have tried to make a simple adapter lead before, where I just take uh, the 110 volt plug. And just put a, a socket on the end of a lead um, but this actually does not work um, it, it wants to come on and then it just dies the voltage is just too low it's a bit silly really um, because lots of appliances will work in America as well we, where they have 110 volt as well or 120 volt so you'd think this could work on a wide variety of voltages, but it doesn't. You need to buy the 110 volt version. Now, if you've got different brand brand of devices like Makita, Milwaukee, um, DeVolt, you don't want to buy the 110 volt versions for all of them. So my solution to the problem was to make one of these. Now, this is just a, a standard a metal uh, socket outlet with a 110 volt plug and a bit of flex but there's a bit of magic inside here there's a little circuit I I used in here and uh, now when you plug this in here you can use any 230 volt drill charger you plug it in there and now it magically works what this little device does it's called a voltage doubler rectifier, so it doubles the output voltage, so it takes the 110 volt and doubles it up. Clever little circuit. And um, that solves the problem. So now if you're on a building site, you don't need to replace all your chargers um, with uh, the more expensive 110 volt versions. Um, you just use this universal adapter and then all your different uh, battery operator tools can be charged with this adapter using your appropriate charger. So all I've done is I've taken a 110 volt uh, socket that they were using the building sites in the UK and I put a bit of flex on it and inside here I've got some insulation material I've got this clever little circuit here which effectively uses a uh, bridge rectifier you get various types but I've used this one because it's nice and flat and it's wired in this configuration uh, which doubles the output voltage but it does a bit more than that really it takes the AC in rectifies it but also doubles the output voltage um, and uh, how it works is it's kind of interesting really so you have your 110 volt coming in um, and it passes through this rectifier but what it does it takes the top half of the AC cycle and um, adds it to the bottom half and so the peak voltage the two peaks of the AC sine wave gets added up together so what you get is you basically if you smooth out um, 110 or 120 volts same thing really if you smooth that out to DC to the peak voltage you get about 170 volts DC but if you if you just move the top cycles of the AC um, sine wave and the bottom cycles of the AC sine wave and you add them together then you get 340 volts DC 
Well, you might say 340 volts, that's a lot higher than 230 volts, the, uh, 230 volts AC. But in reality, that is actually what's going on inside our uh, the volt uh, charger. It takes the incoming mains and it rectifies it to DC. And the peak voltage uh, from um, 230 volts would be more or less about uh, 240, uh, sorry, 300 and um, 40 volts 315 volts depending on your incoming voltage the moment it's rectified inside it rectifies it to the peak voltage so if you were to feed this with that voltage already all that would happen is it would pass straight through the rectifier and be sitting at that voltage inside anyway so you could happily um, do that and give it uh, 340 volts so yeah so this is a very simple solution for um, anybody on a building site that um, only has the uh, 230 volt uh, drill charger battery charger all you have to do is use a bridge rectifier like uh, something like this this one's a bit chunky so I used a, a, a more um, slimline one and uh, two capacitors preferably I would use quite large capacitors the bigger the better but you can get away with about um, 100 microfarad the other important thing is they need to be rated at at least 400 volts. So these are 120 microfarad uh, rated at 400 volts each. Um, they're slightly different size, but they're the same value. Um, but you can get away with a smaller value. Bigger is better. Um, one thing to note about this uh, particular circuit is uh, you cannot plug anything into it. It needs to be uh, a, a drill charger like a lithium drill charger the new type um, you can't plug all traditional transformer type ones in there um, so it's only really for something like this for a for, for a, um, a charger for your devolt drill battery or something um, I wouldn't plug anything else into it it uh, it's only on, on loads they can tolerate DC but for these um, for an alternative, if you're on a building site and you're in a pickle, this is great. And uh, yes, you can buy the, the 110 volt version of these chargers, but if you've got a few different appliances, say you've got a Makita, a drill, or impact driver, DeVault, um, Milwaukee, and uh, you don't want a 110 volt version of each one of these tools, this way you have an option if you're on a building site. You just plug that straight into your transformer, your side transformer, your 110 volt supply, and then plug your charger in there. And there you go, you can uh, happily charge your battery. So if you like this type of video and the hack featured in this video, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. That way YouTube can show you more of my videos. And if you want to, uh, leave a comment and um, maybe give me a suggestion for anything else I could do videos about. And ask me any question you like. I'm here to help. I really enjoyed this and I hope you enjoy the next video. So thanks for watching.